Tech Talk with Mike Carney. If you have access on your hunting ground to some dirt you can plant in, you don't need big agricultural equipment in order to create a successful fall kill plot. In fact, some of our favorite spots are small quarter acre or less hidden plots that were planted with nothing more than a lawnmower, backpack sprayer, steel rake, hand spreader, an ATV cultipacker or drag, and an afternoon of elbow grease and some throw and grow no-till food plot seed. Today, we're planting throw and grow extreme oats. First, you need to find a spot that gets some sunlight at least half the day. Look for areas that are between bedding and known feeding areas, ideally not too far from security cover, where bucks first stage when getting up or going to their beds. Ideally, it's also a spot that provides easy, concealed access to your stand. Once you've found your spot, mow the existing vegetation, spray it with glyphosate to kill weed competition, then rake up the ground to create some bare soil contact for the seed. It doesn't have to look perfect. Just make sure you can get the seed in contact with the soil. For small kill plots in reasonable soil, we often don't bother with a soil test, but if possible, take a sample and pay special attention to the pH. Oats are extremely adaptable, but a pH from 5.5 to 7 is ideal. If you don't have the time for a soil sample, you can go with 500 pounds of lime and 75 pounds of triple 13 fertilizer per quarter acre for optimal results. However, we have planted this mix with just the fertilizer application and have seen great results as oats are extremely soil and pH tolerant. A single bag of extreme oats will cover one quarter acre. Just load into a hand spreader and crank away, followed by the fertilizer, then lime if necessary. Next, you want to use a drag, an ATV cultipacker, or both to create good seed to soil contact. In addition to extreme oats, Evolved Harvest offers a number of no-till food plot products that are ideal for fall kill plots. No-till forage combines tetraploid ryegrass, forage rape, and bursine clover. No-till crush mixes white clover, sun hemp, and forage rape, while no-till radish combines oats and radish for both early and late season attraction. If you've planned right and planted in late August up north or late September in the south and were fortunate enough to get some autumn rains, you'll have a game attracting hidey hole kill plot all to yourself. As a bonus, throw and go extreme oats also includes ryegrass and clover, so next spring you'll be doing your deer herd and turkeys a favor with some nutritious early season greens.